Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. We are here at the Klein residence in Chileota, Florida. The homeowner, Ron, great guy. Awesome piece of land. He's got like over eight acres here. Beautiful house. Just had this brand new big garage built. He has a he owns a stucco company. He does amazing work. This garage is phenomenal. It's like a man's dream come true. Look how big it is. Synthetic ceiling. Overhead lights. Electrical outlets everywhere. 50 amp plug for motor home. Ceiling outlets. It's amazing. And it, uh, it matches this house identical. Big piece of property, keeps it really nice. We're uh, epoxy coating this floor. For Ron, it's already been cleaned and prepped, and doing a little trick to this floor. The color we're using is actually going to be haze gray. It's a real like a dark gray. This here is an actual floor primer that, in like in commercial environments industrial environments I like to use a uh, floor primer first just basically an insurance policy that that the epoxy is going to really 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 stick to this floor and be super unbelievably durable so we're uh Floor's been all prepped and cleaned, and now they're rolling out this floor primer. And this floor primer will have to uh, dry for about four to four and a half hours before we can apply the epoxy coating. And what we'll do is, I got a few guys here now, and they're gonna roll out this whole floor. It's about 8, 8.30 in the morning on Thursday, April 28th. And what we'll do is roll this whole floor out with this floor primer. This is a real sophisticated floor primer. It's really going to grab into the pores of this concrete and just really, really adhere. And then the epoxy will, will adhere to the floor primer. So there's really zero chance that this floor will ever chip, flake, or peel. Now you can do the floor without the floor primer for sure, but I've been doing this for 27 years and applying the floor primer first is, in my opinion, is definitely the way to go. So this is a two-part floor primer and you mix it together, you know, with a paddle drill. You can reduce it if you want a little bit, maybe 10% mix it for three four five minutes and then let it sit for you know 20 30 minutes let it sweat in then you start to work with it so they're rolling this whole floor out with this primer here i like to use a different color when i'm putting my primer down instead of putting the same exact color as the top coat that way when you're rolling out the floor you're guaranteed you're not going to miss any spots a lot of times if you use the same exact color and then you put that uh, for the floor primer, then you come along and use this, you know, come to put the uh, finished floor epoxy down. A lot of times you miss spots because it's the same exact color. You can kind of see from different angles where you have like little lines where you've missed. Then it's just a big time pain in the butt getting back into it and fixing those spots, you know, so without leaving, you know, little areas where everyone can tell you touched up at. So if you put the floor primer down first, with a you know a different color then when you roll the floor out with the finished epoxy you can see every single little perfect pass you know so just another little trick 
but um, I'll send these guys over to and join another crew on, on a project for uh, three, four hours. And then I'll send them back over here and we'll apply the floor epoxy and flake it today. We'll walk around here with spiked shoes and flake it so it, the flakes are all dispersed evenly. Spike shoes is another key to doing these floors the right way when you're when you're broadcasting color chips. If not, you're standing on the side of you know the epoxy and you're throwing the flakes out there. When you got spike shoes, you can walk around right on top of your floor and you can broadcast them evenly so it looks perfectly uniform. So they'll go to another job and work for a few hours and they'll come back here and uh, apply the finished epoxy and broadcast the color chips and then tomorrow morning we'll come back and after we let it dry all day we'll, we'll come back tomorrow morning sometime and we'll apply the industrial strength protective clear coat and this floor is is going to be unbelievably beautiful unbelievably durable but I'll make a, a finished video so you can see the difference. I think you're going to be blown away by the results. It's going to look amazing. He's going to have his uh, offshore boat uh, pulled in here and and whatever else you know he has, and it'll look uh, it'll just look unbelievable. So I'll make a video tomorrow of our final. Uh, final product and uh, thanks again for watching this short video here of our one of our uh, Orlando epoxy floor projects this is residential it's I like to think of it as commercial a little bit it's kind of a commercial feel here with a floor this big on a usually don't see floors this big on residential properties he has another garage on the other side of this property it's another 50 by 30 he wants us to do that as well. He says he's got a lot of stuff to get out of there first though, so no rush. But when he sees this floor here, he's gonna I think he's gonna be I think he's gonna be overwhelmed and won't be <laughs> and doesn't won't wanna wait to get to the other floor. Um, this is all Sherwin Williams, this is our sole product provider great products they warranty everything is never a problem so again this is Dustin with Orlando painters LLC 407-267-5886 have a wonderful day